everybody. Well, I just want to tell everybody a happy late Father's Day. I made a video yesterday, me and Mama and the youngin. We made a happy Father's Day video, and uh, I ain't found it yet. I don't know where it went. It was a short, and I can't find it, can't see it. We was on the way to church when I made it. Don't know where it went. But uh, that's, uh, that's, that's what happened. So, uh, but we did have a, uh, a live feed on Saturday where we wished everybody a happy Father's Day. And we had, uh, I put out a bunch of messages yesterday and some, some public messages. Hopefully everybody got to see it. If you didn't, happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of video in the day. I got a lot of things going on. So I've got an emergency. I got to get situated for tomorrow. Not an emergency with people, an emergency. Uh, an equipment emergency so uh, what we're going to do is <laughs> we got a hedge trimmer over there that I custom made a while back and the motor don't run right on it so I walked out there and dug around in my scrap pile and I found this echo blow or uh, this echo and uh, we pulled it in here and uh, what we're gonna do is shoot a little stuff in it and see if it'll fire off. And if it will, we're gonna attempt to fix this one and throw the weedy the hedge trimmer on the end of it. Uh robbed the gas tank off of this one a while back. With the motor dust being over. I don't know if it has fire or anything. I'm not actually concerned with any of that at the moment. I'm going to show what I do to figure out these things a lot of times so people can see how I do it. The throttle works. Make sure the throttle works. Now some people don't like what I'm fixing to do and some people do. And I personally don't care. I'm not trying to do anything other than find out if it works. So we're going to shoot a little bit of this in there and see if it does. Some people say, well, you need to put upper cylinder lubrication and all that. I'm, yeah, you probably do. I'm sure it needs it. But this fits right here. And don't take no trouble to give it a little shot. Make sure the switch is on. Didn't fire off so far. Might not have no fire. Let me make sure. Now Tommy's yeah. alarm is going off. Nothing there. And this this is what I do to about every one of them if I'm trying to figure out what's worth saving or not. I shoot a little in there and see if it'll pop off. Most of them will pop off on the first run. This appears to have water in it, so that's probably the reason it doesn't start. It has been sitting outside for a while. And it's gooey. That might be the reason it won't fall off. Let me turn the air hose on. Yeah, see? Look. <laughs> well, it's got This is this is basically what I do to every one of them. I squirt them, throw a little uh, stuff in there, and see if they see if they'll fire off. And if they won't, I try to figure out why. I ain't gonna swear it's any good. It, the whole motor may be shot. It may not be no good at all. You know, this is easier than throwing parts at it because if it won't fire off, I won't throw no parts at it. This didn't have a hell on it. See? 
this is how we figure it out. That ain't even right spark glue. But let's, uh, let's just give her a little shot. That's too bad. This is a torch. I don't know if this plug's any good, but it's the right one. Right size, we're gonna try it. See if it'll pop off on this one. Sometimes this does take a few shots. We're not, like I say, we ain't trying to get anything that tight. actually had some fire that time. I got a feeling there's more water on the plug. I think the bottom end's full of water. I believe it is. Yep. Always a pain when this happens. We're going to shoot a little gas in there. Shoot a little gas in. You know what? I don't think there's anything coming out the muffler. The muffler might be plugged up on it too. This definitely oh, came out the muffler that time. <laughs> I know. Y'all are getting real time on this, though. We at seven minutes so far. You never can tell. It might run, it might not. Sound like it will. That's what we were looking for. We got the got the water out of it. Maybe just a little more. Just a little more squirt. We wanted to know. Wanted, wanted to run it long enough to make sure it didn't sound like it's riling or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. All right, how long did that take? We're at 8 minutes, 15 seconds. So, just a few minutes, blow it out, clean it up. Make sure it'll run before you go through all the trouble of trying to put a carburetor and stuff like that on it. Because part of this carburetor has been stolen. I don't particularly like that carburetor. I don't know what we're going to do for a carburetor yet. Uh, but I got to get some. Got to get all those screens are standing up in there like they're supposed to be. Uh, I'm not going to video all of this, what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix this and get it running. Depending on what it needs. Uh, I know we're going to have to have part of a carburetor because part of this carburetor is missing. And I don't think I took it off. I think it was already. This one may have had the gas tank missing to start with. I don't know for sure. Fuel lines going on it. But this is what this is what I got. Somebody took that piece out of the carburetor. I don't remember doing that, so I don't think I did. Piston looks pretty good in there. She's got loads of compression. This little rascal is in good shape. All right, let me see if I can find a carburetor right quick because I got things to do, and I'll bring you back when I find one. All right, I know. If this hole looks a little bit bigger than this carburetor than it's supposed to be, it's because I drilled it. <laughs> I 
I knocked a brass piece out of it and drilled a hole bigger because the carburetor was so little. I did not drill it all the way out, so I left the Venturi in it. You gotta make sure you do that. I ain't gonna swear it's gonna work, but it's what we got, so it's what we're gonna try. I found another carburetor that was more like the other one, but I was not satisfied with the way it was, so uh, I uh, nixed that idea. So uh, we're going to uh, see if we can put some new fuel line in this thing. The grommet in the gas tank feels good, so I'm just taking the screwdriver and popping it out. Hey, it almost looks like somebody put glue in this rascal. Maybe they did. I don't know. I do not know. All I know is we're attempting to get it to run. And there's gnats in here. Even though I've had the air conditioner on for several days, there's still gnats in here. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you all that. The gasket is actually missing out of that gas cap. So that means it'll probably leak too. We might have to go see if we can find another Echo gas cap, Tommy. If you've seen one laying out yonder anywhere. Almost any kind of Echo cap I think will work. But I want to show you all that. I'm, I'm just trying to touch bases with you here and there. Uh, I wanted to show y'all the carburetor because I thought that was funny. Don't know if it'll work or not, but we put a kid in it and drilled that hole larger. So, uh, I'm also going to modify the muffler a little bit, but, uh, we're going to see if we can get it to run. I'm just going to show you little snippets. The main purpose of this video is to turn it into a hedge trimmer. So I don't want to record too much of this because I'm going to title it, turning a weed eater into a hedge trimmer. So... Hope y'all enjoying this. All right, y'all. I got the carburetor and gas tank stuck on new fuel lines in it. I have not attempted to start it yet. Yes, Tommy. <laughs> we ain't. So I got the choke on. I'm just gonna see if it'll fire like normal. Ain't nothing on that end gonna hit you, already. Uh-uh. Come on, I got a feeling that was just a fluke. Yeah. 
to what we're going to actually do. Let me take this end off. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to show you all everything now and then we're going to, I'm going to take it apart and then we'll go from there. I pulled this thing, got it pulled off of here. Shanks off of this one and all. So I'm just going to set it over here out of the way for now. We don't want to break nothing on it. Now this is the one in question, and I built this a while back, so I'll just go ahead and show it to you. So if anybody's wondering, you, oh, you might be able to buy these, I don't know. But I, I've never really seen one. All right. This is a steel head, and I made this attachment. So it's short. So it's longer than a standard head trimmer, but shorter than a... Than a uh, it's shorter than a long one, a longer than a short one, so it's a medium size. But uh, I made this out of some other Ryobi stuff. Uh, then I modified this to fit on here. And it has this attachment here. And it seems to be different than everything else, but nevertheless, we don't, we don't care. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to pull all this off. But let me, I got some things to move around. Hold on a minute. I'll, I'll be back a second. All right. Got a few things moved around. Got my bits ready to go. So let's see if we can get this thing tow off the hill. See if we can get it converted over to fit the Echo. I don't remember what I'll hold this thing on here. So, and I don't know, there might not be a lot of modifying on this. When I modified it to fit this other one, uh, this shank's been on a couple different weed eaters since, uh, since this thing began. I don't fool around with junk when I can't get it to run. I usually just tear it off there and change it to something else. With these boys anyway, I can do that. Because they uh, they don't mind me just uh, getting them anything at a run. And that's the way we like it. Especially stuff like this. We, we're experimenting. This was an experimental thing that we built. It wasn't nothing spectacular. We might have to modify on that end a little bit there. But we don't want this no more. We just want to get it out of the way. It seems to be leaking a little gas. Because of course it is. All right. First thing we gotta check is make sure this drive will work. Cause it may not, and I might have to do some some something else in there. So we're gonna just pull that out of there. Two hundred about two hundred and eight thousandths. I'm going to move y'all over here. There's the end that came off it. 
203 thousandths. So, that's about flush. This one's a little bit recessed. Back around over here. Okay, it will probably drive, but hey, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna knock a little bit off the end of this outer housing. It would probably dry, but it's going to just be right at the end of it. So, I'm going to take this over to the saw and just knock a little off of it. All right. That didn't take but a second. See, I just, it ain't exactly straight. I just knocked the end of it off. So, you get down there. So, uh, we're going to take all these screws out of here because it's probably going to be in a little bit different location than it was before. Now... I wish I could get this thing off of here, but so far I have not been able to do that. It is extremely tight and it's rusty. does not want to come off. Of course, I guess I could cut it off while I got it here like this now. So, uh, y'all give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this grinder to cut this bolt in two to get it off here. But I don't think y'all want to hear this thing because it's, it's loud. I'm just going to hold it and cut it off her. Alright. I got it cut off her. They probably come loose now. Got that one out. Got that one out. Now, the main thing is it makes it easier to get it on and off. When I get it on there, I'll take a bolt off something else, put in it. We're not, we're not overly concerned about it. Ain't that big a deal. Just a screw. Nut in a bolt. I might have to do a little bit of work on this thing. I don't know yet. I actually measured this shank before I started for anybody that's wondering uh, to make sure that the shank was uh, one inch because I have run across something that was different sizes and if they're different sizes it makes it a lot harder that not fit back on there like it ought to. There's where it's supposed to go, I think. If y'all can see what I'm doing here, I'm just scooching it up or I gotta get it far enough to get it up on there. Too far. 
some of these are kind of hip. This one's a little bit. I probably should have took the sander and hit that a little bit because it's a little bit snug. If I can find my wrenches, I'm going to back these screws off just a shade more. Sometimes these things can be a real. Sometimes they can be a real pain. up where it's straight. I'll back this thing up a little bit. I could probably leave it right there. I may leave it right there. I may leave it right there for now. But I'm pretty sure I got it all the way back in there and it's engaged and that's the main thing. Solid. Got that pretty solid. Now, I must don't know what to do. That was just about too easy. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Now, for those of y'all that don't know, there's a sleeve on here. You pull it down, and you can set this thing just about anywhere you want. So we're going to, I'm going to move y'all back a little bit, and we're going to try it out. Because uh, these, these hedge trimmers are, they're heck on daggum phone charging cords, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's broke. Yeah, it's broke right there. I gotta fix that too. We'll, uh, we're gonna have to wait to fix that though, because I gotta go pick the boot up. So let's see what happens. <laughs>
that easy, y'all. Sorry. It usually is not that easy. It's usually a whole lot worse than that. But. I need a screw to go in that thing. Let me see if I can get one out of this other one. All right, went over and took a screw and a nut from another one, so, or from the jump one that I've got sitting over yonder. So, see if we can get it in there right quick. Now, I'll try to show you all this if I can. Somewhere. Right, right here. This ear is broke off. There's an ear that tightens it up. And they break off. Just like that. This is not the first, this ain't the first one. I'll tell you that, it's not. What I've been doing is just taking a piece of a flat metal and putting two longer screws in it and just going, you know, over that. So uh, we'll do that. We'll do that when I get back. Uh, gonna be just a little bit. It won't be for y'all, but it will be for me. I got to run and pick Boo up from school. And we got to stop by the store and get some stuff for supper. So. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of new screws for this that are longer too because, well, I'm gonna need longer screws. Well, I may not, I could use, uh, I may not. I might just use a 10 millimeter headed screws, bolts, and just use them instead. Uh, but I have to go get Boo and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I'm back. We're going to uh, look at this for a second, and I'm going to pause it again because uh, I'm just trying to get everything set up. We need a piece to span this, and aside from just taking these bolts and just doing this number here, I'm going to screw that one in. Screw this one in. All right, this is the easiest way to find your hole center. You got them two screwed in there. Just try to get it up on here the best you can, straight as possible. 1 1.5, 1.588. All right. So our distance is 1.588, can't read that, 1.588. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this right quick if you, if you can measure your holes. All right, the distance between them two holes with the bolt screw them is 1.588. So we're gonna measure the Diameter of the boat is 0.231. We're going to get the calculator out. Take the calculator and go 1.588 minus 0 0.231. 1.357. Should be the whole center. What you're doing is you're measuring half of the bolt on either side of the hole. So if you measure both of the bolts and then subtract one of them, it will give you the whole center. You're subtracting half from each side of the bolt. So that's the that's the way to do it. So what I say, 1.357, 1.357. Right, that's our, that's our uh, thing. Let me go cut a little piece of metal. We'll drill two holes and see if it fits. All right. 
We got this little metal tab here. It's about as wide as what the thing is. We want 1.357. Well, let's see how wide this is. Two inches, 17, two inches, 14 thousandths. Okay, so 1.357 divided by two. Six. Six seventy eight. Alright. Come on. We're just gonna go try and go six seventy. Six that was six eighty. Close enough. Sorry, y'all. I'm just, my brain's plumb goofed. I don't know what I was thinking. Little dicom on there, basically. What I should have done was put it at at one inch and that would have given me the center like that. Alright, there's the center of that. Seven forty five. I'm not really that concerned with that. About three. That's close enough. I'm just trying to get my line so I can make them fairly even. And I want it a little bit more to one side than the other. Because this piece right here it can hit that. So I'm going to drill it off just to, sh just to shade. And now we want to do the 6.7. 6.7. Six point seven nine. I want to just go from the from the center right there and give us a there's just one mark. There's another mark. And now them should be one point three five seven. close. It looks like somebody has dropped my caliper and smudged up the end of it there. Alright. Now the rest of this depends on whether I get this actually right or not. And there's so much shadows. Right now. Off just to show you. All right. There's two center punch ones. We're going to get a 1764th drill bit. Go. I'm gonna go over and drill the holes at the vise right quick. Oh, I'll be right back. All right, there we got her. We got our holes drilled and they're still scruffy. If you don't have a a deburring tool, get one of these countersink bits from your hardware store. Just give it a little. Do a little what for there. Sometimes I will. The countersink doesn't work as good as a as a whole deburn tool, but well around here you all know I can't find anything. 
So, they are pretty close. That's pretty close. All right, let's wash the, wash my redneck dock them off. Some people call it Sharpie. Whatever you want to call it. Don't make no never mind. All right, let's see if the holes line up. And this piece has a little bit of a, a an angle to it, or a little bit of a radius on it. I'm not really concerned about that. Like a glove. That's what we wanted right there. Now. I gotta find the 10 mil taters. It is right there. We're gonna set this thing up on the table. We're gonna set it straight. Let me back this one off just now. She ain't loose anymore. See how that looks. It's not perfect, y'all, but for what uh, they gonna do, it works just fine. All right, go on to. It comes with a no money back guarantee. Comes with zero money back guarantee. All right. Let me get y'all. Uh, let me get y'all set up. We'll try it out and see what happens. So, uh, I'm gonna unhook y'all from the charger. We'll go out here and try it on a limb or two. Let me pause y'all for a second. All right, as you can see, I have let my outdoor duties overgrow. So, uh, let's give it a shot and see if it'll trim.
back a weed eater into a steel hedge trimmer. So, all right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Y'all hop around.